Hello there and welcome. In this video we are looking at something a little bit different. We are looking at a product called Polymorph. Now Polymorph has a few different names. You can see here it's got White Morph or Purple Thermal Glue or it can also be called Multimorph or Thermo Works. But essentially they're all the same thing. It is a bead system of plastic and it's a thermoplastic which melts into a malleable form at around 60 degrees. However, there are different types which melt at higher or lower temperatures. Now the actual technical name for it is poly e caprolactone and it's a type of plastic which is a little bit like polyester. It's a very hard plastic when set, very durable, um, does sort of bounce and fairly scratch resistant and fairly hard to snap and bend. So people have been using this product in a number of different ways. People have been making custom knife handles or custom mounts for things, repairing things. The applications are pretty much limitless. But there has been a question as to whether this product is suitable for aquarium use. I mean, I've made some things here um, very, very roughly and quickly, but that's a kind of frag mount. So you could make your own frag mounts um, or you can do things like this, joining bits of live rock together. It's quite good for live rock because when you squish it in there, it will conform exactly to the shape of the rocks that you are trying to join together a lot better than millipart putty because that tends to be really hard to actually get rocks to stick to another good thing about this is when it dries it actually expands rather than shrinks which is unusual but it means that you don't get any of the stuff coming apart due to the shrinkage you can see here that we've got different colors this is just a plain white bead and this one done by aquamarine for aquariums has got purple in it so it looks a little bit like coralline algae and you can use it in a reef system so this company uh, and some others do sell it for reef system that would make you assume that it's completely fine to be used in reef tanks and it is biodegradable 100% non-toxic and has lots of good things about it so let's talk about its use in aquariums other than the things you can make is it actually suitable well when it says biodegradable, the first thing that I thought was maybe it's going to break down into little bits of microplastics and we're going to be having microplastics all throughout our aquarium. But actually doing a little bit more research, the biodegradable part of this is broken down by bacteria and enzymes into um, CO2 and H2O. So essentially there is no trace of plastic left in your aquarium once it gets biodegraded, which is excellent. That's exactly what we want. It's non-toxic. So um, if your fish decided to try and nibble on it, even though it's quite hard, if they tried it and ingested some, it wouldn't do them any damage so everything is positive for this product so far now the next thing we need to talk about is how long does it last in your aquarium because biodegradable suggests that it's going to disappear quite quickly so I did a little bit of digging and I found a paper quite recently published in 2017 in the Polish Journal of Chemical Technology about biodegradation of E. caprolactone in natural water environments. So that sounds perfect for answering my question. Now I'm going to put the link to this uh, in my description because it's a free PDF that you can go and read. It's not behind a paywall or anything. So I'm quite happy to reference it in this video. So essentially they did a test using um, polymorph now this is a pure form of polymorph i don't know if there's a difference between the versions that are made for aquariums and the versions that are used in this experiment they essentially made some strips of this stuff and put it into fresh water and put it into salt water so it's baltic seawater and the results that they had was that over six weeks in the baltic seawater the Polymorph had completely degraded and become brittle and uh, was basically useless at six weeks. That's quite quick. And in the fresh water, it was 42 weeks before the polymer loss was about 39% of its weight that it started. So this suggests to me that these products aren't very suitable for use in salt water, even though they're being um, marketed for that because they get degraded quite quickly. However, as I said already, I'm not sure if this is a different type of polymorph. 
um, and that's something that I need to do a little bit more research into. What I'm going to do as a follow up to this video, I'm going to put these samples into my saltwater aquarium and just see how they go and see what happens to them. Uh, and if they do indeed break down after six weeks, I'll update you on that. And if they last longer, then we will see if it's a bit different to the scientific study that was done. So quite an interesting little experiment and quite an interesting subject, which is uh, basically not been answered yet as far as I can see anywhere else. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video. Also remember to hit that bell because otherwise you won't get any notifications of my new content. So once again, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and happy fish keeping.